Now for the Islanders who've beaten the Rangers the first three meetings this season, you look at Jason Blake, you look at Alexa Yashin, those are the keys. Right now, Blake is the hot guy, Yashin not. No, uh, Yashin hasn't scored a point in six games, and they've lost six in a row. For Jason Blake, that combination was really hot at the beginning of the season. Jason Blake's uh, been continuing to, to, uh, to go, though. He's still their most dangerous player offensively, and as we've seen here in Madison Square Garden, he's got the great speed. He's not afraid to shoot the puck from just about anywhere. He'll pay the price to go to the net, pay the price to go in the corners. So he's someone that uh, will take a lot of shots, and you've got to keep an eye on him because he's a, he's a relentless little player. He's not very big, but he's got a big heart, and, and he will uh, he loves to shoot it and loves to go to the front of the net. So all the Islanders are going to have to watch him. And Yashin, again, you, you know that Yashin will break out sometime soon. They're hoping it's not tonight. Now you see the numbers for Yashin. No goals in his last nine games. Jason Blake has been dynamite against the Rangers. Streaks are on the line tonight. The Rangers have won four in a row. The Islanders have lost six in a row. I'll be back in just a moment. Back live at the Garden, the New York Lottery presents tonight's goaltending matchup. Rick DiPietro on the season against the Rangers. Pretty good. 3-0 with a 2.33 goals against average and a shutout at the Nassau Coliseum. Henrik Lundqvist, last four games, sub two goals against with one shootout win. Back after this for the opening faceoff. Fourth meeting of the season between the Rangers and the Islanders. Next one will not occur until the beginning of March. There is Yaramir Yager as the game begins. Uh, he will start the game on the bench with Brendan Witt on the ice. Rangers uh, have the choice of, well, actually, the Islanders have to set their starting lineup, and the Rangers can put out who they want. And Tom Reddy decided to keep Yaramir Yager on the bench, put his checking line out to start the game. There's Ted Nolan. And who is trying to shake his team up, get them going. As they have hit a rut, they have not won since the last meeting with the Rangers, December 26th. Rob Chick, Dean Morton, the referees, Terry Saracolo, Derek Nansen are the linesmen. Tonight's New York Rangers High Definition broadcast is presented by Panasonic Ideas for Life. Mike Sillinger and Blair Betts open up on the faceoff, and the Islanders have it. Put in the zone, and Sean Hill. Able to play it ahead. Sillinger with Trent Hunter, number seven. Andy Hilbert, number 11. Hunter has goals in each of his last two games. Now, you know what's interesting, Sam? I thought maybe, as we saw Witt start the game and Yager on the bench, I thought Witt might go to the bench for a change and then try and keep that matchup, but he stayed on the ice. And now there's at the icing call. The Islanders will make a line change. And let's see, Tom Rennie waits. He decides to leave that line on the ice. Defensive line with yeah. Betts, Paul, and Holwig for the Rangers. Malik and Roosevelt on defense. Richard Park gave it up to Marek Malik. Islanders now have Park with Yashin at center and Blake the right wing. Yeah, pumped they, in by Adam Hall. Yeah, they want Park out there strictly to play defense and let the other two guys go offensively. Tom Cody, the former Ranger number three, and Bruno Gervais number eight on defense for the Islanders. Fedor Tutin back for it. Ooh, sliding hard into the boards with Jason Blake. And a penalty is upcoming. Penalty has been called. as a hooking call. And it looks like it's on Fedor Tutin. And the Islanders get an early power play 56 seconds into the game. Now, a lot of the Rangers have been talking about we need to get off to a good start. We haven't had a good start against the Islanders in three games. And, and this is not exactly the way you want to start by going by going to the penalty box early. There's there's the play. Tootin didn't, Tootin didn't get all of this. Richard Park was holding his stick, Joe. Did he? I, oh, I missed that's that. what I saw. I'm sorry, I missed that. I, I thought Park was holding the stick. Well. Tootin's in the penalty box for hooking. Islanders have the early power play, and their power play has really struggled. Just one for 26 in the last seven games. A quick clear. Rangers' penalty kill has not been sharp. Tom Foti hearing boos from the crowd. And offside Islanders coming across the line. Rangers hockey is being brought to you by Budweiser, who thanks you for being a designated driver. Matt Cullen on for the Rangers with Brendan Shanahan, Thomas Polk, and Darius Kasparaitis. Brendan Shanahan didn't skate the last 
two days. Skated this morning, but not the previous days because of the sore foot. Blocked that shot in Montreal the other game and went, uh, when the team got back that night, Saturday night, he went right to the hospital for x rays. Fans get on Tom Pody. Every time he touches the puck, Jason Blake back to Pody. Rangers have Malik and Roosevelt with Jason Ward and Blair Betts. Rangers penalty kill was burned for three power play goals by Montreal. Here's Betts moving in. Betts with a backhander that stopped by DiPietro. The rebound played by Jason Ward. Here's Blake who leads the Islanders with 11 power play goals. Sean Hill missed it. That shot saved. Made by Lundqvist. Makes another one. He holds on. Campoli came in for the first try after Hill had missed his shot. Well, the Islanders able to carry the puck over the blue line. Now you'll see, you'll see Ward fall down. So it's kind of a four on three the other way. And two good saves by Lundqvist. Good passing by the Islanders. Couple of good scoring chances. And saw Lundqvist make that first save. Get right back to his feet and was in perfect position to make the second. Chris Simon with a shot that's blocked. Rangers have Kasparitis and Aaron Ward on with Shanahan and Cullen. Shanahan has the puck. Knocked away by Sean Hill. Hill and Campoli. Kozlov, Yashin, and Simon on for the Islanders. And the puck kept in on the line by Hill. Kozlov finds Campoli. Across to Hill. Wide with the shot. Kozlov reaches out. Yashin had it knocked away. Aaron Ward drives it down the ice. And Fedor Tutin is on his feet, and now he's on the ice. Team's back at full strength. Good penalty kill for the Rangers. Henrik Lundqvist with a couple of saves. Kozlov, who has been pretty quiet since he had the four-goal game here at Madison Square Garden. Here is Strzok, a centering shot by Yager, save made by DiPietro. Nice setup, quick release by Yager. Yeah, he was decisive in taking the shot. Back the other way, shot blocked. Brendan Witt taking it, and he squares off with Marek Malik. Ooh, he got hot in a hurry. Yeah, that was Witt. Uh, Witt seemed to be the aggressor on that. Dropped the glove and threw a punch. Let's see how this will be called. You would think that Witt will definitely head to the no, maybe they're not nope. calling anything. No harm, no foul, Joe. No, I guess not. Letting him play. Rob Schick, the veteran referee. That was that was Witt with the shot. Then the push. Then a couple more pushes. Yeah, it wasn't much. More pushing than anything. A couple of punches thrown, but nothing too serious. Settle down quickly. Yeah, let the uh, let the rivalry heat up. Why not? Played deep. Di Pietro plays it away from Ryan Hallway. Hunter trying to clear, taken back by Betts. Knocked away by Freddie Meyer. First time we've seen Freddie Meyer in an Islander uniform, his second game with the Islanders. Cody across to Gervais. We're four minutes into the game, no score. Freddie Meyer, of course, was acquired from Philadelphia. The teammate of Rick DiPietro's at the at Boston University a few years ago. Collision along the boards, Roosevelt and Simon. Nylander brings it in, drops to Yager. It was swept away. There's Tootin with a shot deflected just wide. Simon against Nylander. Straka winds it to Yager. Yager comes out, centers, Straka shoots off the post. Fans thought it might have gone in. The referee waved right away. Red light did not go on. Now, Yager on the ice without Witt being out there, and he's finding some time and some room. Boy. It was a beautiful setup to Straka. And now Witt is on the ice, and the first thing he did was skate over to Yager yeah. and hit him and get the stick in the midsection. So much for the room. Well, I think Ted Nolan quickly realized what was happening with his defense when Yager was oh, on the sure ice. Did. I mean, that line had some time and space to make some things happen. Jason Blake slowed down by Tootin. Peter Pruka moves the puck around the boards. Witt stops it toward the net, deflected off the side of the net. Stuff in try was blocked. Lundqvist does a great job, and the whistle stops flying. 
on the mad scramble around the net. But a good job by Henrik Lundqvist, and he questions the referee. Yeah, well, this shot from Witt gets deflected actually by one of the Ranger players before it gets there. And then and then it hits kind of the side of the net. Here's the play by Yager. What a pass. And Straka, the quick shot, boy, right off the post. Straka has been hot. He's been finding open areas. He's been taking the shot. And Yager with a great setup. So Yager's had his first shift, had a good shot. That was stopped. This shift makes a perfect pass to Straka. Bounced then, off the post and then hit Nylander's stick. stick yeah. I don't think he uh, was expecting that. You mentioned Straka being hot. Man, is he hot. With eight points in the last four games, a four-game point-scoring streak. Camp uh, Meyer played it deeper with block, and they score! Miro Shatan puts it home, and the Islanders grab the lead. 5.31 into the game, it's one to nothing. Yeah, Shatan has been struggling, and this is just a shot that gets blocked, and Shatan finds the puck. Puck just kind of bounces around a little bit. Shatan just finds it. He almost takes it away from Campoli. Once, here it is again. He just kind of takes it away from Campoli and lets it go quickly. And that one just over the glove. Great wrist shot by Shatan. And again, the Islanders get an early lead. Shatan had a goal against Carolina. It broke a nine-game goal-scoring drought, so now he's had goals in consecutive games. Richard Park takes a hit from Jason Ward. Roosevelt trying to clear, denied by Blake. And it's knocked down and heading the other way. Jed Ortmeier feeds Hosa. Marcel Hosa checked by Bruno Gervais. Cody up ahead to Richard Park goes by him. Kept in by Polk. Deflects. Polk gets there. Polk shoots and it's blocked. Gervais with a block on the Thomas Polk shot. Yashin tried to clear it out. That was stopped by Hosa. Good job by Marcel Hosa and Blair Betts. Penalty upcoming on the Islanders. Put out in front, touched by Pody. Rangers get a power play on a hooking call. We are 6-22 into the game. Islanders leading. Here's a look at our Panasonic digital replay. The shot from Freddie Meyer deflected. Polk had lost his stick, so he had to play it with his skate. Shanahan tries to give Polk the shot. By the time that happened, a little bit of confusion and the great and the great shot. Meanwhile, after that, Yashin comes back, uses the stick on Hosa twice, and he'll get called for hooking, and the Rangers will have the power play. Here's Yashin using the stick. He saw it up high, and he gets called for the hook. Well, the Rangers' first power play of the game. Yashin hooking at 6.22. Rangers on the power play. This power play powered by AMD. Smarter choice. Rangers three for 14 against the Islanders this season on the power play. Rangers have Roosevelt and Strzok at the points. Nylander, Shanahan, and Yager up front. Good stop by Sean Hill. Hill and Witt, Hunter, and Sillinger for the Islanders. Minute 30 remaining on the Rangers power play. Nylander with a puck. 13.05 to go in this first period. Nylander to Straka. He scores! Marty Straka. It's a power play goal. And the game is tied at one. And Straka's red hot streak continues. You know, Sam, it was difficult for the Rangers to get the puck over the blue, and they finally do. Now, Yager's going to take a big time hit from Witt. Witt came all the way from the other side to make the hit on Yager, and Yager will make a good pass. He knows he's going to get hit, and watch the play. He's going to get hit as he does. He gets crunched, but leaves the puck for Nylander, who then finds Straka. So Witt came all the way across the ice, and that left room on the other side. Straka went to the area where there was room. Yager with a good play, knowing he was going to get hit. Nylander with a good pass, and Straka the perfect finish. Five-game point-scoring streak for Marty Straka. Five goals, four assists, nine points in his last five games. Oh, keep, when you're that hot, keep shooting. Wow. Just shoot the puck. 
And he is now tied for the team lead in goals scored with Brendan Shanahan with 23. Oh, he's, he's putting together some kind of year, isn't he? Some kind of year. More goals already this season than he had all of last season in 82 games when he scored 22. Straka from Nylander and Yager at 659. And it's what we said before. Teams are going to Yager, hitting him as we saw, cutting down the things that make him so effective, but his line mates are coming through, as we saw with Straka. Nylander is putting up a point as well, as did Yager with the assist. 39 assists on the season. Shot by Pruka, save by Di Pietro. Yager, 39 assists on the season. And that is third in the league. Crosby leads with 44. Thornton has 42. All right, DiPietro just made a big time save on, oh. on Peter Pruka. That's a good shot right off the pass from Pruka. And it's good to see Peter Pruka firing yeah, the puck like right. that. Got rid of it quickly. He's got some confidence. Here's Cullen off a good pass from Shanahan against Campoli. One hand shot, save DiPietro. Cullen again, but it's given away and it's cleared out. Simon goes wide, winds up, big drive and a save by Lundquist. He's got the puck. Yeah, when when you're going to have somebody play that tight, the Witt leaves his position over on the other side, and the Rangers did a did just a great job, starting with Yager to find the puck, and then Nylander, and then Pruka here's the pass, and Pruka with the quick shot. That's a good save by Di Pietro. The Rangers came right back down with a good scoring chance. Shots even at five apiece. Goals even one apiece. 11-10 remaining in the first period as Aaron Ward plays the puck. Kept in by the Islanders. Andy Hilbert fires it into the corner. Tootin takes it. Islanders have Hilbert, Sillinger, and Hunter. The line that started the game. Aaron Ward with the puck. Sam, I think it was important for the Rangers to have a quick response. Yeah. Not let that one nothing lead stand for too long. Sean Hill with a heavy hit. Knocked down Ryan Holwig. And Holwig is still down on the ice. And there's not been a whistle. Now Holwig gets up slowly, trying to skate across to the bench, hurting. And he just now makes it to the bench. Replaced by Straka. Now the Rangers change lines. Holwig Islanders kind of, are offside. Kind of bent over on the bench. I'm trying to keep an eye on Holwig. And there's uh, Jim Ramsey. Attending to Hallwig on the bench. He's a tough kid. Takes a lot to keep him down on the ice. There's the bouncing puck as he comes over. Well, you know what that was? It was a hit from behind. That was that looks like an elbow in the or forearm in the right in the middle of the back. You can see you could see he went in awkwardly. Roosevelt deflected by Yashin. Midway point, first period. Yashin brings it across. Good job by Roosevelt. Blake to Yashin. Yashin tried to set up Randy Robitai. Yager's got the puck. Lead to Straka. No Brendan Witt on the ice here. Exactly. Against uh, Yager. It's Tom Pody. That shot tipped in! Yarmir Yager breaks the scoring drought off the feed from Marty Straka, and the Rangers take a two to one lead. Eighteen thousand two hundred thought that Straka was going to take the shot. Nylander with the play on the boards, little pass, and that was a perfect time to shoot, and he didn't. It was a better time to pass. Right over to the other side. And Di Pietro played the shot. Just a good, strong move. Robitaille gets beat by Nylander. And then the beautiful passing play. Nylander to Straka to Yager. In a split second, it's in the net. First goal in the last nine games for Yaramir Yager. 
And that shot went wide. Al is down at ice level. Al. Sam, I wouldn't call Michael Nylander a smiler. You should have seen the smile on his face when he looked at Yager back at the bench. Yager gets his 17th from Straka and Nylander at 10.25. A save by Lundqvist. Robitai put it in front. And Jed Ortmeier finds the puck. So that line now has six points, two points for each player. Yager a goal and an assist. Straka a goal and an assist. Nylander with two assists. Good line change by Tom Rennie. Got the line out there again without Brendan Witt and Sean Hill being on the ice. And that's happened twice in this first period. Both times it's happened. That line has had control of the puck, and they have had enough room to make plays. Hallway on the ice, so basically had the uh, breath knocked out of him with the hit in the middle of the back from Sean Hill. Adam Hall got knocked down by Tom Cody. Hallway faking, shooting off the glove of DiPietro. Good effort by Hallway, shot by Hall, saved by DiPietro. Rangers now have picked up their game. Yeah, well, they got the life from the power play, and now they're really coming on. I agree with you, Sam. That quick response to the one nothing deficit. The crowd was right back into it, and then they came back with some other good chances. And Di Pietro had to make some saves, and they've kept the pressure on. Pruka met by Sillinger. 7:45 to go in the first. Rangers have a two to one lead. Nice move by Cullen. He got pulled down by Hunter. Penalty call. Rangers go on the power play. Delayed penalty on the Islanders. Lundquist to the bench for an extra skater. Shanahan shoots it on goal. The faceoff will be in the Islanders' zone. 7.24 to go in the first. 2-1 Rangers with a power play coming up. When offensive players have their confidence back, they want to handle the puck. They want to make plays, and that's what Cullen does here. He's confident in his game now, takes his time, handles the puck, draws the penalty. Lundqvist, another big save. That one on the redirection by Robitaille and the shot from the point. And the Rangers with a 2-1 lead go back on the power play. Yager back on the ice. And that goal tied him with Dino Cicerelli for 14th all-time. 608 career goals, two away from the immortal Bobby Hull, who is at number 13. Trent Hunter in the penalty box for tripping at 12.36. Rangers second power play. Brendan Witt with a puck and he fires it all the way down. Talked about Nylander. He's got a five game point scoring streak with two goals and six assists. And Nylander's two assists give him 35 this season. And he's having a spectacular year. He is now sixth in the league in assists. Strzok is in the top 10 in scoring in the league with 53 points. And Yager is just amongst of, the top in, in yeah. points and assists. Just think if Yager felt good about his game. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? I mean, he just he feels like he's not playing well and not scoring like he should. And I guess if he, what, add another, t what, 20 points of that, make him feel better? Uh, that line would really probably, be something. But he's such a perfectionist. Yep. I and mean, he expects a lot out of himself. Nylander. Back pass to Roosevelt. Shanahan calls for the puck and shoots. It's blocked by Sean Hill. Straka hustles over. Got shoved down. Puck moved up the boards. Roosevelt stops it. Yager. Shatan and Kozlov. Gervais and Hill for the Islanders. Nylander battling. Roosevelt's got the puck. Gets it back to Yager. 35 seconds in the power play. Shot by Roosevelt. Saved by DiPietro. Good shot by Roosevelt. Di Pietro steered the puck into the corner, did a good job, and the puck out of the zone. Damn, you know, we've talked a lot about Yager. Oh, and giveaway. Chatan moves in. Chatan with a shot, saved by Lundquist. Good play. Anyway, getting back to that point, Yager and Witt, we've talked about a lot, but there's another one on one battle that's been going on throughout this series as well. Brendan Shanahan and Sean Hill. They have really battled one another, and it's something to keep an eye on. Nylander went down, lost his edge. Power play is over. Trent Hunter out of the box. Rangers one for two on the power play. 5.15 to go. First period. Rangers leading two to one. All the way around it goes. 
Yashin moves up for the puck. Deep into the Rangers zone. Yashin and Aaron Ward. Aaron Asham is there. The puck popped in front. Rangers able to clear it out. Now you would think Yashin with the knee problem. He's wearing a brace on his right knee. That skating would be a problem for him. He says, not the skating. He says, I am, I'm having trouble shooting the puck with that brace on the knee. Because I have trouble turning the way I normally do. Aaron Asham slowed down by Fedor Tukin. And hit by Marcel Hosa. Pumps a roar from the crowd. Wartmeyer took a hit, worked it back to Jason Ward. Rangers come in. Jason Ward knocked away from him, kept in by Hosa. We apologize that our score box is not operating right now. We'll keep you up to date on time and score. Score 2 1 Rangers with exactly four minutes to go in the first period. Hosa gave it away to Jason Blake. Blake against Ortmeyer. Blake around the net. Finds an open man. Cody with a drive deflected wide. The rebound played by Ortmeyer and gets out of the zone. It was good pressure by the Islanders on that shift. Yeah, bad turnover by Hosa. Uh, kind of a backhand blind pass to the middle of the ice in his own zone. And then he got bailed out somewhat when the Islanders put some pressure on by Kasparitis, who did a nice job at the side of the net on Kozlov. Roosevelt for Cullen. Hounded from behind. Cullen feeds Pruka. The puck in his skates couldn't get a shot off. Malik steps up to play the puck. Comes out of the zone and Cullen sends it back to Roosevelt. Tipped in by Pruka. Cullen goes after it with Gervais. Gervais comes away with it. Shanahan and Hilbert battle for the puck. Aaron Ward plays it for Pruka. Good job in the neutral zone by the Islanders, forcing the Rangers back. Here's Yager, and Brendan Witt is on the ice on this shift. Oh, Yager avoided him, shot it wide. What a move by Yager to avoid the hit attempt by Brendan Witt. That was a great move, and he got a quick shot. Hilbert, good play to win the puck. Sillinger moves in. Shot blocked. Rebound missed. Back pass. Hill missed his shot. Struck out with a puck. Here's Yager. Met by Brendan Witt. Now Nylander deep. Tapped away by Trent Hunter. He comes out with it. 2.15 to go in the first period. Rangers leading 2-1. to one. Yager's had a good first period. And it's more difficult when Witt's on the ice, but that time he made a great move and was able to get a quick shot and just missed. And the few times he's been away from Witt, he's made things happen. Yeah. Holwig with a long shot, gloved wide of the net by Di Pietro, and he holds it. A minute 56 remaining, first period. Rangers lead 2-1. to one. Here's our Panasonic digital replay. The Rangers guilty of a giveaway in their own zone. Led to some pressure by the Islanders. Kozlov off to the side of the net. Kasparitis does a nice job on him with the stick to allow the puck to go out. And then Yager does his thing. One move around Hunter. A second move around Witt. Quick wrist shot just misses on the short side. And then takes a hit from Hunter. Just under two minutes remaining. Yager a goal and an assist. Straka a goal and an assist. Nylander two assists. And the Rangers with a two to one lead. Malik to Yager. Trying to set up Malik. It's taken away by Shatan. Shatan with Randy Robitai. Double team. Good play by Straka coming back. And that allows Tom Pote to go to the bench. Witt comes back on the ice against Yager. Kozlov with a puck. Hook penalty called on Rosaball. The late penalty on the Rangers. Witt out to Sean Hill. Six skaters on toward the net. Deflected over the top into the corner. Played by Robitai. Quick shot score! Brendan Witt on the delayed penalty with six skaters on. A quick release off the Robitaille feed, and the Islanders have tied it in two. Now that's a bonus when Brendan Witt, who's not known for his offense, can score a goal. Six players on the ice with their goaltender pulled are the Islanders. Sean Hill just throws it at the net. Roosevelt doesn't have a stick. So plenty of time for Robitaille to make a play. Roosevelt can't defend without a stick or very well. And then the Robitaille just looked around and Witt went to a scoring area. Quick shot. 
by Witt after the quick pass to tie the game at two. First goal of the season for Brendan Witt, and this is 42nd game. First point as a New York Islander for Randy Robitaille, and this is 10th game since being traded from Philadelphia for Mike York. Offside, Rangers on the play. Now, Robitaille hasn't played well for the Islanders. Started on the second line, went all the way down to the fourth line. And this time, see, he's got some time because Roosevelt doesn't have a stick. And he just finds Witt. Actually, the Rangers had two players without sticks. Betts was the other one. Witt from Robitaille and Kozlov at 18.37 ties the game. So each team has come back from behind. And our score box is back operating again. Glad about that as we come down to the final minute of the first period. It's been a back and forth. Islanders early. Rangers came on through most of the middle of the period. Now the Islanders have come back to tie. Shot by Holwig off the chest of deep Pietro. Good save on the Adam Hall rebound. Oh, what a save that was. The shot by Holwig was high and hit some players in front. Pope just gets it towards and then it gets deflected. Now here's the shot. Goes up high. Hall will find it right there and let's go a quick shot. Di Pietro sticks out the catching glove and makes the save. First one hits Hall, then he finds it, shoots it. Di Pietro the save. 40 seconds to go in the first period. Rangers try to keep it in the Islanders' zone. Tootin poking at it. Now it's frozen for a faceoff as Sillinger went down on top of the puck. Good spirited first period, isn't yes. it? Yes. Shots are 10-9, favoring the Rangers here in the first period. And you're right, Sam. We've had a, you know, a change of momentum in this game. Islanders early. Rangers came back to score two to take the lead. They seem to have the momentum. Islanders now have come back. Aaron Ward bumped Trent Hunter. Cullen brings it across. Shanahan was open, just a little too far on the pass. Deflected across, Hunter's got it with 10 seconds in the period. Andy Hilbert with a drive, deflected wide. All the way out to Cullen in center with four seconds. Puka with a drive off the skate of Brendan Witt. That's the period. So, a lot of things happening in that first period. Peter Pruka had one good chance that was stopped by Di Pietro. Rangers had 10 shots. Islanders, nine. Michael Nylander had two assists in that first period. As they discuss some of the things that went on, Yaramir Yager broke his eight-game goal-scoring drought. Brendan Witt got his first goal as an Islander, and Randy Robitaille his first point as an Islander. A little bit of everything in this yeah. first period. Al is with assistant coach Perry Pern. Al? Back with the Molson Canadian scoring summary, it was the Islanders who struck first. Miroslav Shatan for his 12th of the year, 5.31 into the game. But then the Rangers answered back with a power play goal by Marty Straka, whose great season continues, his 23rd from Nylander and Yager. Then Yaramir Yager ended his drought, first goal in nine games at 10.25. And then finally, with an extra man on and a delayed penalty, Brendan Witt scored for the first time this season. So that's where we stand. Rangers out shooting the Islanders by a little, 10-9. And the score is 2-2, heading now toward the second period and trivia. Strong first period. Hey, Tom Rennie again. He did this in the first period. He gets the last change. He sees that Tom Bode's on the ice and not Brendan Witt, so he makes a change. All five players, Yager back on the ice to start the period. And harder for the Islanders to change quickly because they've got the long trip yeah, to get point. to the bench. Here's Pody. And now they can make the change if they want. They choose not to. They changed one defense. Yeah, Brendan Witt got on the ice. He got on the ice. He's actually playing the opposite side. Bruno Gervais went off, and Witt is on. Rangers with Nylander, Yager, and Straka. Malik and Roosevelt. And there's Brendan Witt forcing Nylander back. Islanders have Andy Hilbert, Trent Hunter, and Mike Sillinger. And then Witt and Pody changed sides, and then when the puck went deep in the Rangers' own, Pody changed. Yager, shot blocked by Hill, gets a shot off that was deflected and juggled by Di Pietro, and he holds on. 
So Yager back on the ice. Hill had just gotten out there. Hill plays a physical game as you he tell always me, does. Uh, he and his wife just had a new they baby. They just had a new baby. That's yeah, great. Baby boy about three weeks ago. In fact, it was, when was the last time they played here? About three December weeks ago, 20, right? Oh, no, earlier in the mid-December. The day before that okay. game. They had their third child. Very nice. Good steal by Shanahan trying to lead Cullen. Cullen against Hill. Yashin picks it up and moves it to Richard Park. Park again. Richard Park put on the line with Blake and Yashin to provide a little defensive responsibility. Yeah, they didn't they didn't have much on the offense in the first period. Yager is, or pardon me, uh, Yashin, we've talked we've talked about his struggle point wise. Tipped in by Shanahan. Di Pietro out to get it. Blocked by Blair Betts. The flex in front. Hallway gets it back to Kasparitis, but he gives it up to Kozlov. Kozlov, since that four goal game here at the Garden, has had only two goals in his last 15 games. And he's back playing center in this one in the hopes that maybe he'll find that room that he did the last time he played in this building. Witt was hit by Betts, but able to get the puck in the Rangers zone. Actually, not the last time, but the first time he played here. The last time it was Blake who had the hat trick. Right. Fourth meeting of the season between these two teams. The next meeting will be early in March. That will also be here at Madison Square Garden. The last three meetings of the season between the two teams will all be at Nassau Coliseum. Two in March and one in early April. Thomas Polk. Now, Sam, I think about the, the goals that the Islanders scored and some of the defensive play by the Rangers in that first period. A little shoddy at times, and I think back to what... Henrik Lundqvist was saying this morning that you know we got to play tight. We just we need to play tight in this first uh, in this game back against the Islanders. I think Tom Rennie questioning the icing call. Rangers hockey is being brought to you by Budweiser, who thanks you for being a designated driver. Henrik Lundqvist faced nine shots in the game. Kasparitis took a hit. Puck kept in by Hill. Hunter in the corner against Kasparitis. Good job by Kasparitis tying him up. Sillinger. Hunter fires. Saved by Lundquist. Yager moves it to Nylander. Straka. Sets up Roosevelt. Saved. Di Pietro. Long rebound cleared out by Hilbert. Now it's Trent Hunter dumping it in. And Roosevelt. Able to play it out. Good setup by Yager on the shot by Roseball. Again, Yager on the ice, but Witt also out there against them again this shift. Now Yager heads to the bench for a change. Hilbert's shot was blocked by Roseball, and the Rangers move out. Hosa on the puck. He's got Roseball and Jason Ward. Roseball peels back. Ward's pass was tipped away, kept in by Ortmeier. Good hit by Hunter on Hosa. Tootin winds it deep. Past Hosa. Sillinger knocked away by Ortmeier. Nice work. Ortmeier backhander. Save. Rebound. Missed by Hosa. A good effort on this shift by Jed Ortmeier. And then he went in with a hit attempt that Sillinger. Avoided some of, but was spun around, went down. Richard Park pressured by Tootin. The puck deflects into the crowd. That's a good shift by Ortmeier. Very good shift. Had a chance to score. Had some physical play. Hit there on Cody. And then the last scoring chance, watch, he just he just goes right to the net. And then Hoso will get there, but doesn't get a shot as Hunter came back and did a good job with his stick to prevent Hosa from getting getting the rebound shot. And then Ortmeier again in the neutral zone. Good shift. Says he feels good. His weight is actually a little, a little down from last year, but he says he's much stronger. It bugged him that he took two penalties in the Montreal game. 
Lost the vice time. That's right. <laughs> Campoli forced back. 2-2 two -two the score. Four and a half minutes gone by. Second period. Chris Campoli. Islanders in need of wins. The six-game losing streak has resulted in their dropping to 13th in the Eastern Conference. Shanahan brings it across. Rangers are offside. Rangers starting the night in fifth place in the Eastern Conference. Three points behind fourth place Montreal. Canadians have a couple of games in hand, one game in hand, but uh, the Canadians are off tonight. Now we, we talked about uh, Shanahan getting hit, uh, blocking the shot against Montreal. That shot was so hard that it actually cut the tongue on his skate and then broke the skin on the top of his foot. And he thought he had a broken foot because he had done the same thing playing in Detroit a few years ago. But he said when he, when he got up the next day, he felt a little bit better. And again, had the x-rays the night before, felt, felt much better. But he took a couple of days off. Always amazes me that players don't wear more protection on the boot. But I guess you can't protect all of it. That shot by Kozlov was blocked by Aaron Ward. Paulwig's got it. Kozlov slowed him down. Kozlov using that reach well. Hall dumps it into the Islander zone. Di Pietro goes out to get it. We haven't had quite the pace to this second period that we had in the first period. I think both teams thinking they need to tighten up a little bit. Exactly right. That's what Perry Pern talked about without Troutwig, and that's what the Rangers are doing. Good play by Yager, forced a turnover. Then it was knocked away from Straka. Bruno Gervais, I believe, with the good play yeah. with the stick. Gervais lifting it to the Rangers zone, and Malik able to poke it out. Nylander looking and stopped by Gervais. Good job by Gervais. Boy, that's an outstanding defensive play as Nylander wound up holding the puck way too long. Icing on the Islanders. 6.05 gone by in the second. Tied 2-2. Here's our Panasonic digital replay. Yarmer Yager ends up stealing the puck. Now the Rangers go the other way and watch his stick check coming up right there. That's Gervais with the first good play with the stick on Marty Straka. And then again, once there, and then again here, three good plays by Bruno Gervais, the young defenseman for the Islanders, to thwart a couple of scoring chances for the Rangers. Want to correct something I said. Montreal is playing tonight. They're at home against Atlanta, and Atlanta's leading Montreal 1-0 in the first period. Montreal had to call off practice again yesterday because of the flu, and Atlanta took their ice time and skated for wow. an hour and a half. A little over six minutes gone by in the second 2-2 game. Malik. Using the stick, the skate, trying to keep it away. Then it's played to the boards, and Hilbert shoots. That went off a leg. That shot by Hill, a save, a rebound, another save, and the third one is put in. Rangers never able to get control of the puck. Islanders keep, kept getting to the rebounds, and the Islanders lead for the second time. It's 3-2. to two. Yeah, stick checking. Stick checking by the Rangers in their own zone. It's loose defensive play again. Shot, rebound, shot, rebound, and eventually another one. So this was the third shot that, that is taken on Lundqvist, and eventually Sillinger just reaches out on the backhand and slides it through everyone. Now you've got to get sticks. You've got to get men. You start fishing for the puck, and that's going to leave opportunities. And the Islanders, a team that, well, they've had trouble scoring goals, but they've got three, and we haven't played a, game, a period and a half yet. Cody swings it around to Shatan. And Aaron Ward's got it. Cullen lost it to Randy Robitaille. Miro Shatan moves in, offside Islanders. Joe was right. The Islanders have struggled to score during their losing streak. Only eight goals in the last six games. Uh, you, see, you see all the, I mean, you see three Islander players in front of the net. When that happens, you've got to get a lot of help back down, and then everybody's got to get somebody. you got to get a stick or the man or both. If you start waving at the puck, that's trouble. Sillinger's had a good year for the Islanders. 13 goals. Hunter and Hill assisting at 626. Polk lifting it in. Rangers need a spark here. Holwig with a late hit. 
takes a penalty. Trying to give them the spark, he went after Freddie Meyer. They call it an elbow. And Tom Rennie, I believe, is saying he dropped down. And Holwig gets the call. Yeah, here, here's the call again. Holwig. Now, you know what? I don't have a problem oh. with the call. I don't have a problem with the call. He might have tried to duck out of the way, and there's still no question. Watch the right elbow. Gets him right in the side of the head. I mean, Freddie Meyer's not a big guy, so he doesn't have to, he, he doesn't have to duck much. And I, I think it's the right call. Rangers have to do a job on the penalty kill here. Pody. Deep in the Rangers zone. Rangers have Hosa and Hall with Tootin and Aaron Ward. Islanders begin the power play with Sillinger, Shatan. Here's Shatan with a puck. Blake, Pody, and Gervais. Shatan. A wrist shot blocked in front. Aaron Ward with a block checks his stick to see if his stick was broken on the hard shot. Victor Kozlov, by the way, the Islanders had gone to the locker room, he has a skate problem. Bowling elbowing at 717. Puck around the boards. Roosevelt missed it. He's got it now. His clearing attempt blocked. Blake got it out to Gervais and across. Shot by Pody. Blocked. Betts comes away with a puck with Jason Ward. Gervais back. Betts moves in. Betts shoots save Di Pietro. Well, what a play by Betts. First defensively and then ends up with that shorthanded chance. It's a beautiful block of an anticipated pass. An anticipated shot, and he got over there and made a great block. Adam Hall with a hit on Tom Pody. Blake with the puck. Shatan puts it in the Rangers zone. It deflected over the boards, and play stops. The Rangers had trouble clearing their own zone, and the Islanders ended up with it, and that was Betts. He just anticipated that Pody was going to get the shot, moved over and blocked it, got back on his feet, and then ended up with that chance. Di Pietro makes the save again good job by Betts away he goes the other way looks up thinks pass pass was taken away and then after that Brendan Shanahan gets in with a hit on Tom Pody Cullen wins it back Cullen and Shanahan on with Kasparitis and Polk 30 seconds to go and the penalty to Ryan Holwig Chris Simon Fired in by Campoli. Yashin is on with Simon and Robitaille. Campoli and Hill. Puck bouncing in front. Yashin trying to find it. Chipped toward the net. Knocked away by Lundquist. Hill with a puck. Five seconds left in the power play. Robitaille checked by Shanahan. Still has it. Power play is over. Yashin. Centers deflected away by Lundquist. Shot by Hill. Save. Rebound. And Lundquist has it. Now it's squirted loose, but after the whistle blew. And there's a Ranger that's down in the crease who seems to be hurt. That's Casparitis. Casparitis, about 30 seconds ago, was hit in the face with the puck on the far side, but kept playing. And this is the last shot. Watch the puck just to the right and underneath the pad. And Lundquist has his pads right along the goal line and won't allow that thing to go in. Here's the shot again. Looked like it went off a of Ranger skate first. Simon was there to try and put it in, and Lundquist held strong. Rangers two for two on the penalty kill. Islanders did not get a shot on goal during that power play. The shots actually came when the power play was over. And the Rangers were back at full strength. 10.25 to go. That shot by Hilbert stopped by Lundquist. Second period. Islanders with a 3-2 lead. Straka against Witt. Yager moves it. But it deflects up over the glass into the crowd and play stops. And you're right, Sam. The Rangers now have to do something to get some momentum back as we've seen that change momentum back and forth in the first period. And now they need to get something going as... The Islanders have scored the last two goals to take a 3-2 lead. Boston is leading Ottawa in Ottawa 2-0. Boston with 43 points is in the number nine spot 
in the Eastern Conference and the Bruins will be here Saturday afternoon an NBC game quick shot by Hosa block Hosa hits the side of the net Hosa drops it in the corner and plays the puck Andy Hilbert checking Hosa shoved him fans wanted a call and the puck finally out of the zone recovered by Aaron Ward Fedor Tutin Here's Hosa going wide and shooting deflected by Sean Hill up into the netting. 9.45 to go, second period. Islanders with a 3-2 lead. <laughs> so you were just saying a bunch of people are turning around saying, who is Al talking to? Yeah, yeah, they don't know me. At the, hockey, in the hockey crowd don't know about me, but it's cool. We are hanging, having a good time. It's cold in here. Rangers are down right now, but hopefully they can pick it up. Good you to know? see you again, man. You too. I'll see you soon. Upstairs we go, Sam. Al sees him at the basketball games. Now it's good to see him at a hockey game. Al would be nice if Al gave him his jacket, right? The guy's a little oh, cold. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. be a nice host. Give your guest a jacket. Right. And he'll send a couple of tickets up here for me and you. We there you go. Next time he's uh, <laughs> Straka. The Pietro swings it around the boards. Malik there to stop it. Yager knocked away. Brought out by Shatan. Robitaille goes to the net. Lundquist bats it into the corner. Betts swings back. Straka plays it in. Now Brendan Witt. Shatan, Witt, and Sillinger, the goal scorers for the Islanders. Straka and Yager for the Rangers. Rangers have been kept quiet here in the second. A little pushing and shoving after the whistle. Ryan Hallway there. Brendan Witt there. Adam Hall in the corner along with Witt. Hall just on the ice as Yager had left the ice. Witt's played another good game for the Islanders. Now that that top line they're just going to have to find a way to to get some scoring chances when Witt's on the ice and Hill. Witt has been there for the most part checking Yarmir Yager. This is one of the shifts he's not on against Yager. Yager's had 12 shifts. Eight of those shifts have been with Witt on the ice. Four without. The four have been pretty good. Hill with a hard pass to Yashin. Richard Park heads for the net. The shot hit. The skates of Park. Blake was shoved by Kasparitis. Rangers come out with a puck. Blair Betts plays it down the boards. Holwig after it. Gets to it. Is bumped by Campoli. Yasha knocks it aside. Campoli controls. Rangers have not had many chances here in the second period. Only four shots on goal here in the second. Islanders have had seven. Simon open and missed the net and then goes flying puck around the boards. Pody keeps it in to Jason Blake. He shoved to the boards by Aaron Ward. Hey Sam Aaron Ward went down and forced Simon to shoot high. Three on two. Cullen shoot save rebound wide. Fedor Tutin looking for the rebound. Cullen with a good chance. That's knocked away by DiPietro. And Blake has it. Rangers' best scoring chance of the second period. That might have been their only odd man rush of this period as well. Islanders have played better defensively in this period. DiPietro plays it away from Hosa. Now the fans come alive. Brendan Witt fires it in by Lundquist. Chris Simon gets to it. Tied up by Malik. This is Aaron Asham playing it back. Hill's shot was blocked. Hosa clears it out. Sent back in by Franz Nielsen. Haven't talked about number 51, Franz Nielsen, in his second NHL game. From Denmark. They say he's the first player from Denmark to play, but then they trying to recount that. Paul Popeil. Actually, he was born in Denmark, but grew up in Canada and then played 13 professional seasons. He's credited as being the first player born in Denmark. 
Nylander leads Yager. Yager against Pody. Yager shoots wide. Long rebound played by Nylander. Here's Yager against Pody. Set up to Nylander, shot blocked. This is one of those shifts where Tom Rennie able to get Yager away from Witt. Here's Hilbert moving in, shooting, glove save by Lundqvist. 5.47 to go in the second. Islanders leading the Rangers 3-2. Here's a look at the Cannon goal cam. We talked about the Rangers three on two break. It all started because of the good defensive play by Aaron Ward. Good hit. Puck jars loose. Shanahan with the pass. And here come the Rangers the other way. Fedor Tutin just followed up the play to turn this into a three on two. And that shot by Cullen DiPietro with the save. And then the Islanders able to clear it. Now the last chance for the Islanders because of this hit. Hunter on Tootin separates him from the puck. Here comes Hilbert, two on one, quick shot. Good glove save by Henrik Lundqvist. The New York Rangers and New York Community Bank proudly support the Garden of Dreams Foundation through the Make a Save program during the regular season. $10 will be donated for each Ranger save. There was 10 right there on that glove save. And $500 will be donated for each shutout up to $25,000. Nice program. Very nice. Make some more saves there, Henrik. Get some more money raised for the program. 3-2 Islanders, 5.20 to go in the second. Nylander deep, backhands it across to Straka, and it was smothered, and the puck fired out, goes into the Rangers bench, and maybe behind the bench area. Good chance again by the Rangers. So the last couple of minutes, the Rangers have had a couple of chances by carrying the puck over the blue line, carrying it in, making plays. Here it is again, quick puck movement by the Rangers because the Islanders are trying to force everything at the blue line, so you got to move the puck quickly. Straka ended up with that last chance, Di Pietro the save. Face-off win, Tutin keeps it into Shanahan. Now Pruka in the corner, checked by Witt. Kozlov intercepts. And moves it to Randy Robitai. Tutin, checked by Shatan. Here's Robitaille moving in with a shot, saved by Lundqvist, and he covers up. Good quick release by Randy Robitaille, who scored his first point as an Islander. This is 10th game. Yeah, puck kind of bouncing, rolling around a little bit. Rangers can't get a good handle on it. The Islanders eventually do, and it's Randy Robitaille that ends up with the shot. A little bit of room, head up. Lundqvist in good position to make that save. On the scoreboard, Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay tied 1-1. Pittsburgh sitting right outside playoff position at 43 points, tied with Boston for the ninth spot. And that's the key, the conclusion of a home and home with Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay won in Pittsburgh on a shootout on Sunday night. Artie St. Louis with an unbelievable oh. move. Wasn't his, it? Going his to his body back went hand. left and his uh, hands went right, and, and the puck went, went through, through the, the goalies. <laughs> Holway carries it deep. Check there by Freddie Meyer. Meyer shoves Holwig to the boards. Holwig got knocked down a couple of times in yes. this game. And Holwig went back at Yashin. And the puck fired in by Pope. Now that line with Betts and Holwig and Hall, I think they're due to score something even strength. Especially if the Islanders are, gonna, are going to continue to try and, and shut down that Yager line with Witt and, and Hill playing a lot of minutes. Well, some of those other lines, the third and fourth line, I think needs to provide a little offense. Hooker's pass for Cullen was tipped. Cullen goes in after Pody. And we talk about uh, Yager struggling to score. Brendan Shanahan, too, is struggling to score. Sillinger shot went off the leg of Roosevelt. And... Shanahan was telling us after the game Saturday afternoon that maybe he was trying to be a little too fine with yeah. some of his shots. That game against Montreal. They said the, the thing that really keeps him from getting frustrated, though, is the team keeps winning. Yeah. He said, you know, you keep trying. He says, as long as the team keeps winning, then, then you don't get uh, frustrated because you help out. You help the team win doing other things. Roosevelt, long pass, intercepted by Robitaille. Kozlov, checked by Roosevelt. Kozlov turning, got it 
Back from Robitaille. Centers just missed by Shatan. Roosevelt did a good job on Shatan in front. Kozlov against Tutin. Double team. Good takeaway by Yager. Straka. Offside. Rangers 2.36 to go in this second period. Take a look at the Rangers' upcoming schedule. Brought, brought to you by North Fork Bank. Ottawa is here Thursday. That's on MSG. Saturday on Radio 1050. That'll be an NBC game at 2 o'clock. And then at New Jersey, back on MSG on Tuesday night. And all games on MSG preceded by Hyundai Rangers game night by half an hour. Hope you'll be with us Thursday night on Hockey Night in New York. Richard Park tied up in center. It's whistled down for an offside. 2.25 to go in this second period. Ottawa just picked up a much needed center that, uh, because of all their injuries, Mike Comrie came over from the Phoenix Coyotes a couple of games ago. Rob Schick walking things over with Ryan Holwig. I'm not sure what that was all about. Uh, Holwig questioning a hit from behind there. Freddie Meyer, that was earlier. Hard to argue. He's taken a couple of hits in this game. And once again, an offside is whistled. 2.20 to go in this second period. Well, if you're interested in purchasing premium Rangers tickets, the best way to find, best way to find great seats for Rangers games is on Ticket Exchange. Premium tickets that have been posted for sale by Rangers Club subscribers. Visit Rangers Ticket Exchange on NewYorkRangers.com today. Islanders have done a good job keeping taking the crowd out of the game here in the second they've period. Slowed, they've slowed this game down. It's been much more difficult for the Rangers to get chances, even though they've done a better job in the second half of this period. Straka playing it around to Marek Malik. You know, here's here's why. Look at that one four checker. Four Islanders in the neutral zone. Now five in the neutral zone. No place for Yager to go. No place for Nylander to go. And, and the turnover. Yeah. Never Puck, gained the zone. Puck's got to go deep. Park try to get it to Blake. Malik did a good job. Then it's taken away by Blake. He finds Yashin down low. Park saved by Lundqvist. A oh, huge save by Henrik Lundqvist. What a play by the Islanders after the turnover. Lundqvist was so patient, he just waited, waited, held his ground. Park, not a natural goal scorer, tried to take his time, but there was nothing to shoot at. I think that was the biggest break that neither Blake nor Yashin had the puck in front. It was Richard right. Park yeah. of those three. Kept in deep by Polk. Straka goes for the puck, hit by Witt. Yager in the corner, trying to work it free. Penalty call. Yager drew it on Sillinger. Kasparitis checked by Hunter. Shot deflected up in the netting. Rangers get a power play. Sean Hill with a hit on Polk. And things settle down. Now the penalty. Yager, there's the right hand of Sillinger on the right arm of Yager. And so the Rangers will be will be on the power play. And here's what we were talking about. Islanders have everybody back. You, it's it's too hard to make those passes. You've got to go. You got to go in deep with it. It's almost a turnover because you don't have anyone going. And here's the here's the save again. And watch Lundqvist how he just waits. He just waited and waited. And Park held onto the puck and then took the shot. This power play is powered by AMD. Smarter choice. Rangers third power play of the game. They're one for two. Ball in front. Tip wide by Cullen. Paul Cullen and Puka with Polk and Tootin to start the power play. 40 seconds remaining in the second period. Rangers down three to two. In my opinion, Joe, the Islanders have taken some physical liberties with the Rangers well, along the boards. I agree. Rangers have not responded. I agree. And if they're going to respond, maybe it needs to be with a power play goal. Tootin plays it to Hall. In front, Kruko missed the net. Rebound, Cullen couldn't tee up a shot. Islanders have Pody and Hill, Shatan and Kozlov. Kruko again. 
try to thread it through three players yeah. and it was knocked down and cleared and that's going to do it for the period the power play will carry over into the third period the Islanders get the only goal of the second period and they lead the Rangers three to two Brook had a chance been some physical play oh he, he had a great chance this was this was good passing by the Rangers and Pruka, if he hits the net, it's in. I mean, he just hit the net. You know, hit the net and it's in. He got the shot off quickly, but but missed on the short side. And then here's here's the look at look at the Islanders. Everybody back. Now you'll notice the Rangers. You've got here and here. There's no place to go. You either have to dump the puck, which is the best thing to do, dump it. If you keep moving the puck, you see everybody stop now. That's when it's got to go in deep. It doesn't go in deep, and the Islanders are able to go the other way. That's how they slow down the game. And then they turn it into this chance down on the other side. Let's go outside the Islander locker room. Al is with Jason Blake. Okay, Sam, Jason, I thought you guys played like a team that really wants to end this losing streak in that second period. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we have a bit of desperation right now, obviously losing six in a row. You know, I think the biggest thing is every time the uh, last six losses we've, you know, we lost, they've scored the first goal. And tonight we were fortunate to get the first goal, and uh, we just got to keep working. Yeah, if you're, as your numbers have gone up, how have you noticed the, the different level of attention that you get from opponents night in, night out? Well, uh, you know, I don't know. I guess uh, for me, I just got to keep playing hard in uh, every shift. And, you know, if, if I get more attention, I guess that's a good thing in a way. But, uh, you know, I just got to keep working hard. Did you take any good photographs yesterday? Uh, yeah, we took a few. Uh, I don't know if we uh, we won the contest, but uh, we got our we got our good share uh, of photographs. Thanks, Chase. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year. Same to you. Back to you, Sam. Team bonding working for the Islanders. Special thanks to a couple of guests we had in the booth here for the second period: John Kenna and Murray Russell of Long Beach. Yes. But anyway, just to finish that point, Al. You know, Tom Rennie was saying. You know, he wants him to start thinking a little bit more offense. He says he's so, you know, gung-ho on doing what he's supposed to do as a third or fourth liner, play hard, get the puck in deep. He doesn't take any offensive chances, and he wants him to. But you know, Joe, one thing that got him some more ice time is by being responsible yes. when he was put out there as yeah. a fourth-line player. Rangers on the power play here. And the puck popped in the air, bounced down. Shanahan kept it in momentarily, and then it's driven all the way out. Rangers are one for two on the power play in the game. Straka with speed leads Yager. Yager against Gervais. Shanahan scores! Brendan Shanahan hits a power play goal. The game is tied 3-3. Three, three. This starts behind the Ranger net. And they're able to come up with speed led by Straka. They get the blue line, and you're going to see a fantastic pass right there. He waited, Yager did. He waited and waited for Shanahan to get into position to shoot. And then with pressure, he put it under a stick, through the legs, and the quick shot in an area where Shanahan can shoot it right off the pass. It doesn't get any better than that. The pass, the shot. The tie game, that was something. And the end of a scoring drop for Brendan Shanahan, his first goal in the last eight games. He regains the team lead with his 24th and his 12th power play goal of the season. And now the crowd is alive. A good start to the third period as the Rangers take advantage. Boy, when Brendan Shanahan has that stick about a foot or two back, get him to puck. He's ready, and he is loaded, ready to shoot. Cullen cleared it out of the zone. The hustle of Jason Blake negated what would have been an Islander's icing. Forced Lundquist to go out and play the puck. Oh, yeah. Shanahan with a goal is 24th from Yager and Straka at 42 seconds. Yager and Straka with a three-point game each. Straka a goal and two. Yager a goal and two. And after the puck. Is Chris Campoli. He was bumped on the play by Kasparitis. Rangers move it out. Now let's see if the Rangers now can feed off of that light from the crowd now that they got him back into it. The crowd was quiet for most of the second yeah. period for good reason. Now you can hear it now. Thomas Pope 
Hook from behind. Penalty Islanders. Bad penalty. Coslaw can't believe it. Quick shot. Save Di Pietro as he stopped Marcel Hosa. Rangers right back on the power play. Coslaw for hooking. Thomas Pope skating. Thomas Pope likes playing the right side, so he picks it up from that side, comes around the net on his forehand, and Kozlov didn't like the call. Watch the stick up in the waist. That's the hook. He didn't like it. Here's another look at the goal. What a pass from, what a pass from Yager, who just waited for Shanahan. Look at him, look at the stick. He's got it ready, put it in the right spot. And you know what, and Yager, give him credit, he put it right in the perfect spot. So Shanahan, who was moving, could take the shot right off the pass. Doesn't come much better than that. And now the Rangers on their fourth power play of the game. And this power play is powered by AMD. Smarter choice. Rangers two for three on the power play of the game. Shanahan kept it in on Di Pietro's clearing attempt. Cody moves it up the boards and out. Roosevelt, Straka, Shanahan, Nylander, and Yager for the power play. And the Rangers need to gain the blue line again with some speed. So they get the line, now can set it up. Shanahan works it down the boards. Witt and Pody, Sillinger and Hunter for the Islanders. And it's sent all the way down by Hunter. Game tied, 3-3. Islanders went, led 1-0. Rangers scored two, led 2-1. Two to one. Islanders scored the next two, led 3-2. to two. And now the Rangers have tied it. Shanahan knocked the puck down. A shot saved by Di Pietro. Tricky shot by Shanahan after, after Di Pietro had given it away to him. I think he was aiming for Yager's stick. Nylander works deep against Gervais. Straka winds up. Big drive save with a glove by Di Pietro. He's got it. Now the that chance from Shanahan to get started because the Rangers were able to get the puck in. And look at Shanahan. He's just he's throwing it because Yager's there, trying to get it to him. Shanahan had his stick, had his head up all the way, and with Yager's stick on the ice in front of the net, that's where he tried to get the puck to. Cullen, Pruka, and Hall have come on for the Rangers with Tootin and Polk. 49 seconds to go on the power play. Islanders have Sillinger and Hunter back on with Witt and Pody, and the puck is cleared. All the way down. Schillinger is one of the best face-off men in the league. And he won it against Cullen. They were able to clear. Pruka pulls up against Cody. Cody, the long reach. Try to clear. Blocked by Pruka. It's batted ahead. Up in the air. Knocked down by Tootin. Pope. Tootin. And the shot deflected wide. Played by Hall. Works it deep to Pruka. Comes around the net. Turns, try to pass, was blocked by Witt. And it's cleared out of the zone. Another solid game for Brendan Witt when he's been opposite Yager. Yager hasn't had many chances. No. And when he's not, he's been making plays that we like we just saw there, the blocking the pass yeah. attempt. And then throws, puts in his first goal of the season. That's right. Cleared out by Yashin. Power play is over. Teams at full strength. Game tied 3-3. Rangers two for four on the power play in the game. Campoli cleared out. Yashin moves in on Aaron Ward. Ward stays right with him. Yashin stays with the puck. Betts knocks it away. Park plays it. Jason Blake hit by Ward. Shoved away by Ward. It takes the puck and gets it to Hallway. Oh, that's a good defensive play. Blake tried to make a move on him to get past him. Ward with a good defensive play, a good hit, and then ends up with the puck and clears that as well. Little over five minutes gone by. Third period. Rangers and Islanders tied 3-3. Witt up ahead for Shatan. And now it's Randy Robitaille. Back pass. Kozlov scores! Oh! That was just what he did in that four-goal game against the Rangers. Got the pass in full flight and fired it by Lundquist. Islanders lead again, four to three. And it all started the, in the other zone. And all the Islanders do is throw it up the ice. Now the Rangers have plenty of players back, but the puck gets by. This is still a two on two. Yager was close, but not close enough. And Robitaille just put it right on the stick. You can see Yager was there. He was only a foot or two away from Kozlov. 
but it wasn't close enough. And it was just a quick shot by Kozlov. And he's got a tremendous wrist shot, wasted no time at all. 4-3 Islanders, most goals the Islanders scored in the last eight games. Cullen shoots, save Di Pietro. Rebound, Puka shoots, save, puck is loose. Islanders gain control and clear it out. Steered away by Lundqvist to Tootin. And the puck knocked out by Sillinger, save, rebound, score! Oh, the Islanders take advantage of Ranger mistakes. Two quick goals, and the Islanders lead five to three. Yeah, the Rangers with the giveaway in their own zone. They don't get it out of the zone. Tootin with the puck up the boards, and then the pass came across. I believe it was Pruka that tried to make the pass. Let's see, yeah, Pruka gets it and goes straight across and puts it right on to Sillinger, and Sillinger stayed with it. He got one shot, got his own rebound, and put it in. Pruka tried a, a lateral pass in his own zone. It's just a bad play with pressure on him, and prior to that, Pruka had a chance down on the other end, and Di Pietro made a save, but the Islanders came back down, and the Rangers had a chance to clear the zone. They made a high-risk pass, and it ended up in their net. 5.44 gone by here in the third period, and there have been three goals scored here in the third. Rangers got the first, and now the Islanders with back-to-back -back goals. Kozlov at 5.17 from Robitaille and Shatan. That made it 4-3, to three. and then the goal by Mike Sillinger, his second of the game, giving the Islanders the 5-3 lead, 27 seconds apart. Sillinger unassisted. And Sam, both those goals by the Islanders, play looks so innocent. You now the Rangers have plenty of players back, and they just defensively made mistakes and ends up in their net. A lot of defensive breakdowns in the game for the Rangers. They have given up five. Lundqvist makes a save. Robitaille and Shatan assisted on Kozlov's 14th. Sillinger's second of the game, 14th of the season, unassisted. Two goals in 27 seconds. A lot of time left. 13.05, but the Rangers have to get some momentum going yeah. again. Again, the crowd is quiet after the two quick goals. Rangers had life when they tied it with the early power play goal to start this third period. Atlanta leads Montreal 2-1 to one in the second period in Montreal. Rangers would love to close the gap with fourth place Montreal, but they need to find a way to get back in this one. Down by two. Holwig checked along the boards. Betts moves in. Back to Tootin. Toward the net, save Di Pietro and no rebound. 12.22 to go in the third. Islanders have opened up a two-goal lead. Here's a look at the can of goal cam. Now, the Islanders might get a break here. Look at this puck. Does it hit the linesman's skate? I think it hit the linesman and bounced straight to Robitaille, who made the perfect pass to Kozlov, who didn't waste any time at all. And then here's the turnover. Pruka tries to go through the middle. Sillinger intercepts it, gets one shot, gets his own rebound, and it's a two-goal lead for the Islanders. Improving digital imaging at work, home, or play. Cannon image anywhere with a gold cam look. And the Islander two goals that broke a 3-3 tie and have given the Islanders a 5-3 lead. 12-15 to go in the third. Yager moves in. Knocked away from Malik. The Rangers have a Yager with a giveaway. Shot by Hunter high off the glass. The Rangers have not been good in their own zone in this game. No. No, and then they're making plays that we haven't seen them make, not many of, at least in in a while. Inlander had a good rush. Roosevelt keeps the puck in. Toward the net, tipped wide by Yager. And then Di Pietro got knocked over by his own defenseman, Sean Hill. But the 
puck was along the boards. Rangers couldn't take advantage. Witt moves it behind the net. Now it's Hill. And Hilbert able to clear. And the Islanders just now, I mean, they're not they're not trying to make plays in their own zone. They're just making sure they've got wings on the boards, throw it along the boards, try and clear it out. Try and win the battles is the way they're playing it. Very conservatively. Well, Lundquist didn't see Blake there and almost gave it away. Now it's Cullen with speed. Dropped to Shannon to Pruka. Knocked away from Polk, who was driving to the net. Cullen got knocked down. Islanders the other way. Blake. Long shot blockered into the corner by Lundquist. Kasparaitis pass with block. Yashin. Spun around, works its side of the net. A whistle. And it was touched with a high stick, and that will bring the face off outside. Thursday night is hockey night in New York on MSG, and here's a look at the lineup. At 5.30, inside the Rangers. Then the premiere edition of Rangers number 35, Mike Richter at 6. At 6.30, it's Hyundai Rangers game night with Alf Trotwig. At 7 o'clock, it's the Ottawa Senators and the Rangers. And then at 10.30, it's Hockey Night New York live with Alf Trotwig. We send Al every He's day. all over, isn't he? These are Mr. Hockey. Hosa. I wonder if Mr. Hockey has an idea how his Rangers are going to get a couple of goals here. <laughs> Ardmeyer was upended a little bit, lost his balance, and then fell down. Coming down to the midway point of the third. Rangers down by two. Aaron Ward. Winds up, big drive, just missed the net, rebound chance, wide on the backhand by Jason Ward. Holwig tried to get there, was cleared out by Robitaille. And that was an innocent looking shot that almost turned into something for the Rangers. Again, the Islanders with plenty of players back, you can't try and stick handle through the zone. You gotta get the puck in deep and, and, and look for turnovers, get the four check going, get some hits. Holwig. Knocked away. Good play by Hunter. And it's deflected back. It's whistled down for an offside on the Islanders with 9.28 to go in the third. And the Rangers down by two. Hey. Now this is what the Rangers are going to need to try and do with the Islanders having everyone back. Get in there. Get the four check going. Hosa does it there. Jason Ward's on top. And this is Aaron Ward's shot. Look at it. It goes wide. But first player in on the puck is Jason Ward. He didn't get everything on the backhand, but it turned into a scoring chance. 9.28 to go. Rangers 23 shots, Islanders 24. Islanders have shown a good response after the Rangers got the early power play goal in the opening minute of the third period to tie the game. The Islanders have countered with two goals, taking advantage of Rangers' mistakes in the defensive zone. Betts tips it in. Witt after it. Betts with a hit. Yager is there. Yager double shifted here with Betts and Holwig. Puck slides across. Malik gets to it. Deep to Yager. Knocked away by Hill. And it's cleared out by Hunter. Islanders trying to make it four straight over the Rangers this season. Wow. And there's Witt again, right next to Yager. The Islanders looking for their first win in 2007. And you know, all you do is put a Rangers jersey in front of them, and suddenly they're a different yeah. team. Malik forced back. Now it's a team for the most part. Their work ethic under Ted Nolan has been there. Here's Shanahan. Save off the left arm or left shoulder of Di Pietro on a quick release by Shanahan. Chatan gets loose. Chatan with Kozlov. Chatan has a goal. Kozlov a goal. Sillinger has two goals, and Brendan Witt has one. And the Rangers have goals from Marty Straka, Yaramir Yager, and Brendan Shanahan. Pruka. Deflected. Cullen couldn't get out in front. Good play by Freddie Meyer. Kruka chips one. It's gloved by Di Pietro. Good quick glove. 
as the ball knuckled toward the net. Yeah, Pruka actually had to stop it with his left skate first and kick it up to the blade of his stick. Cullen will just give it to Shannon who gets in front and you see the left skate of, of Pruka stops it, kicks it up to his blade and then gets the shot and then get everything on it was feeling a little bit of pressure on the shot and just kind of chipped it up there and DiPietro able to glove it. 7.36 to go. Ortmeier is on the right wing here with Cullen and Pruka. Now Pruka comes in to take the face off as Cullen is chased opposite Alexi Yashin. Kept in by Ward, he shoots, deflected into the corner. Broca after it, actually it was Ortmeier. Ortmeier, good job along the boards. Then he gives it back to Richard Park. Gervais. Ortmeier keeps it in, in front. Set up to Cullen, he fakes, and his shot saved by DiPietro. As he shot it through the defenseman Tom Pody, but a good effort along the boards, especially by Jed Ortmeier. Yeah, they were, they were able to keep the play alive, keep it in the zone. Tootin stepped in to, to pinch, and Ortmeier covered up for him. And Puka found Cullen. Cullen had to wait, and try and shoot it around Pody. He waited for Pody's right leg to go past him, and then take the shot. Frustrating for Cullen. Good chance. Coming down to seven minutes remaining. Good pressure. Hosa plays it behind to Jason Ward. He gets knocked down. No call. Sean Hill took him down. Three on two the other way. Same Lundquist. Big rebound. Hosa back to get it. Hunter try to play it in front. That was a good rush down the ice by Sillinger, Hunter, and Hilbert. Hosa in deep. Yager. Takes it away from Hilbert and shoots save Di Pietro. Now it's Rick Di Pietro coming up with some real good saves late in the game. And, and no rebounds. Di Pietro is able to make the saves and he's not giving up any rebounds. Strong play here by Yager in the corner. Shoulder to get away from Hilbert and then the quick shot. There it is again. There's the shoulder. Shields him. The puck and the quick wrist shot. And Di Pietro smothers it. That was close to being a penalty but Yager never grabbed Hilbert he kind of just slid his arm just enough to upend him and to, to get by him had he grabbed him closed his hand on the arm that would have been a penalty Paul pushing it ahead Islanders able to clear it out now the Islanders recover and Gervais tries to clear blocked by Hallway and it's sent out by Gervais Paul gets it to Holwick. Cody. Paul got picked off by Di Pietro with a good play, smart play by the goaltender. Now the Rangers changing, so the Islanders are just as they're changing as well. They're just taking their time. Down to under six minutes remaining. And so they're just make, trying to make those types of plays. Nice little play. Blake with a shot. Save by Lundquist. Yashin made a nice little pass off the board. Penalty call. Penalty upcoming. And I'm not sure who, who it's against. Park. Rangers will get the power play. Richard Park, number 10, is stick right there across the face shield of Yager, then catches him in the mouth. Here it comes again. Stick up high. And so Park goes off, no blood, just a two-minute minor, but a chance for the Rangers. And a big moment for the Rangers. They need something here. Richard Park in the penalty box. Rangers are two for four on the power play in the game. Down by two with five and a half minutes to go. Shanahan, Yager, Nylander, Straka, and Roosevelt for the power play. Hunter with a good job to work it deep into the Rangers' zone. Hunter and Sillinger with Witt and Cody for the Islanders. Yager, three point game, a goal and two assists. Straka, three point game. Shanahan with a goal. Nylander with two assists. But the Rangers are down by two. Roosevelt through to Shanahan. Nylander 
Checked by Cody. Down to Yager with room. He shoots. It's blocked. Never got through. I believe Witt blocked it. Nylander. Straka. Roosevelt. Straka. Wrists it toward the net. Save Di Pietro. Yager gets to the rebound. Cross to Nylander. Now to Straka. Nylander. Wait. Speeds Yager. Moves out. Pass behind Nylander. Played by Shanahan. Roosevelt. Shot by Yager. Missed the net. Stopped by Shanahan. 40 seconds to go on the power play. Then hit off the bar. Either the crossbar or the post. And bounced away. Shanahan. Pass blocked by Witt. And cleared out of the zone. Both units are tired. They've been on for the entire minute 35. Straka gave it away to Witt. Then he clears. 15 seconds left in the power play. And now the Rangers uh, change. And the second unit comes out. Boy, Shanahan with that quick wrist shot. Just off the post. Around the boards. Paul gets it back to Tutin across. Big drive save. Di Pietro as he stopped Cullen. Kozlov falls down. Paul slides it to Cullen. Power play is over. Teams back at full strength. 3.20 to go in the third. Rangers down 5-3. Paul. Blocked by Kozlov. Coke winds it deep to Cullen. And the Islanders take it. Park fires it off the glass. All the way down. It'll be an icing on the Islanders. Just under three minutes to go in the third period. Now Shanahan wanted the puck. And there's the quick release. And just off the post and out the other way. Pardon me, crossbar. Went over the glove, hit the crossbar. And out the other way. Now Brendan Shanahan having a conversation with one of the referees. It was an icing, so the Rangers want this puck dropped right away. They can while this Islander group of five is still tired. Rangers down 5-3. Yager talking to one of the refs. Now Yager's still a little tired, but what Tom Rennie has decided to do is put that line right back out there, even though they had a long shift on the power play, because Witt is not on the ice. Now, one of the officials has skated over. They're reviewing the Shanahan shot. I think that's what the Rangers wanted, the shot by Shanahan, which looked like it rang off the post of the crossbar. And that's exactly what happened. It was checked out upstairs and no goal. And you know what? This line gets a little bit of a rest because of that. Again, Witt's not on the ice against against Yager. That hasn't happened much in this game. Rangers need something in a hurry. Under three minutes remaining in regulation time. And the Islanders with a 5-3 lead. Now Witt gets out there. And the, the key was the Islanders won the faceoff. They're able to clear the zone. That allows Witt to get on the ice. Most goals the Rangers have given up since December 17th when they lost here. Here's Straka coming in. What a play by Sean Hill. He got the puck. I think so. Fans wanted a yep, call, but I, he got the puck. He Str made a terrific play. Straka tried to draw the call. It was just a simply, very simply, a, a great play by Sean Hill. Oh, now Hill took down Straka, and they saw that one. Yeah. Penalty on Hill. Bad penalty by Sean Hill. The Maybe. first one was a good play. Yeah. The first one was a real good play. Yager had given Straka the long pass from his own zone straight up the middle of the ice. And now here he goes. And let's see if he gets the puck. I think he got the puck first, and then he went down. There's the long pass. Yeah, see, he gets the puck first before Straka goes down. It's a good defensive play, and then this is the one he gets called on. Straka gets back up, and there's the stick right in the skates. So that one's no question the stick in the skates. And so the Rangers with 2.14 to go, trail by two, have taken a timeout. 
14 to go. Power play Rangers, two for five on the power play. Assistant coach Mike Polino talking it over with the power play unit. Stay tuned right after Rangers hockey for MSGNY, presented by ChevyOffers.com, with Deb Kaufman hosting tonight. And there'll be highlights of this game and reaction, post game reaction, on MSGNY, presented by ChevyOffers.com. Washington leading Philadelphia 5-2 in the third period. MSGNY presented by ChevyOffers.com hosted by Deb Coffin that's coming up right after Rangers hockey. Stay tuned for that. St. Louis and Columbus have gone to overtime in Columbus. Tied 3-3. St. Louis doesn't quit. Fell behind 1-0, tied it. Fell behind 2-1, tied it. Fell behind 3-2, tied it. Now they're in overtime. Carolina leading Toronto 3-1, late second period in Toronto. And Pittsburgh is trailing Tampa Bay 2-1 in the third. Oh, that was shot toward the empty net just wide. Now the Rangers on the power play with the net empty. They have six skaters on. Islanders can shoot freely at the empty net. It won't be an icing. They're shorthanded. Nylander. Roosevelt shoots. Save DiPietro. And the rebound is under DiPietro. He's got it. And Witt involved with Cullen. And Witt skates away. And Witt was trying to draw a penalty against Cullen. He did that the last time the teams were here. This is a play that Roosevelt scored on against Montreal on the power play. That one was deflected on the way there. And Witt and Cullen get involved. Witt turns away, trying to draw the penalty. There was none. Sillinger's won a lot of key face-offs. There's the shot again, and DiPietro able to find it. And he wins another one there, but good job by the Rangers. Six skaters on, four for the Islanders. Rangers net is empty. Rangers on the power play. Straka, Yager, a minute 40 to go in regulation time. In front block, rebound going wide. Pody moves it. Sillinger lifting it out. Straka and Hunter go after it. Straka gets there a minute 25 to go. Yager's got the puck. And the lead to Cullen back to Shanahan. Shanahan's pass broken up by Sillinger and the shot deflected by Straka. Sillinger has two goals in the game. Now he's played well. He's won a lot of face-offs. Made a lot of good defensive plays. Yager across. By himself, he was stopped. Clearing attempt, stop. Shanahan shoots, save. Di Pietro. A minute to go in regulation time. 40 seconds in the power play. Cullen, Shanahan. In front, missed. Still loose. Kept in by Roosevelt. Pass deflected. And bringing it out, Richard Park. Richard Park fakes and shoots, deflected away. Penalty upcoming on the Rangers. A hooking call that ends the power play and virtually wipes out the Rangers' chances to come back in this game. Now, Roosevelt had a chance to shoot and tried to make a pass down low to Shanahan, and his pass was deflected. And Shanahan had to take the hooking call with 36.9 seconds remaining in regulation. Shanahan tries to set up the play in front. Di Pietro able to make that save. It goes back to Roosevelt. And this was another one. Di Pietro's had a, a very strong period here. This third period, he's really been good. He's yes. made some key saves. Rangers 31 shots on goal in the game. And Di Pietro has made 28 saves. Islanders have called the timeout with 36.9 seconds remaining. An interesting timeout. Yeah, I guess. Ted Nolan maybe just wanting to rest his, rest uh, his top penalty. The guys that are going to be on the or, ice. Yeah. Power plus. So the final seconds will be ticking off, and the Islanders about to make it four straight wins over the Rangers. Rangers have had 14 shots on goal here in the third period. Di Pietro has stopped 13. Damn, but they're going to look at this and they say, and, and, and they're going to look at the defensive mistakes they yep. made in their own zone. They're going to say that's the difference in the game. Skating four aside. A Lundquist goes to the bench. Rangers dead is empty. Five skaters on. And a whistle. It was a delayed offside. 21.3 seconds remaining. 
Montreal's come back to tie Atlanta 2 2 in the third. Ottawa's come back to tie Boston 2 2 in the third. And Ottawa will be here Thursday night. Monday Rangers game night without Trotwig Thursday night at 6 30. Following New York Rangers hockey, it's MSGNY presented by ChevyOffers.com. Deb Kaufman hosting tonight. There'll be post game reaction from this Rangers Islanders game. Shot toward the empty net, just goes wide. Witt was looking for his second of the year. The, the end Islanders of the game. losing streak is over. The Rangers winning streak is over. And now the big streak that's going on for the Islanders is four straight this season over the Rangers five straight overall dating back to last season and after the final buzzer Ward and Witt you know Witt stuck out his leg on bets as the Rangers dumped the puck in the zone Witt stuck out his leg and got bets it was there was about 15 seconds left in the in the period and then at the end of it Ward I think saw it came over and said something it was when the Rangers they dumped the puck in see there's Witt throws out throws out his right leg and Betts had his head up and was able to avoid most of it here it is again watch the right leg oh you know what that angle looked like it was more hip than anything I thought it maybe but it, it looked like that was a hip and then at the end of it Witt again had another you know he had another strong game and so Ward says something to him and everyone gets involved but mm. the Islanders took advantage of a couple of plays in less than a half a second or half a, a minute in this third period when the Rangers had tied at 3 3 a couple of mistakes by the Rangers and they turn it into a win two goals in a span of 27 seconds and the Islanders won at the Oppenheimer funds team contributor award goes to Rick DiPietro with 28 saves Oppenheimer funds the right way to invest he breaks a personal five game losing streak with that win first time the Islanders have ever won the first four games of a season series with the New York Rangers they've beaten them four times in a row and beaten them three times here at the Garden we'll be right back Back at Madison Square Garden, Islanders losing streak is over, Rangers winning streak is over. The goal of the game is brought to you by refreshingly smooth Bud Light, always worth it. 3-3 early third period when this happened. Well, it looked like an innocent looking play. I think it goes off the skate of the linesman right over to Randy Robitaille. Quick pass to Kozlov, a shot that where he wasted no time at all. The Rangers had players back. But they were a little loose, and the Islanders take advantage of that to score what turned out to be the game-winning goal. And they followed it up with Mike Sillinger's second, and that's it. 5-3 is the final. Coming up, it's MSGNY. Deb Kaufman is hosting for Al Troutwig, John Giannone, and Joe Micheletti. This is...